Hi guys, in today's tutorial I would like to show you how you can use STM32's internal flash memory to save the data and then read them back again. For this tutorial I am using STM32 F3 discovery kit. And basically in this case I am using just plain uh, STM32 without any peripherals at all. And I'm also using internal RC oscillator, which then I've set up to 36 megahertz for all peripherals, but that doesn't matter that much at all. I just wanted to mention it. So now I would like to easily demonstrate this example step by step how it works and then uh, I'm going to deeply explain uh, how I made this save to flash function and then read flash function and afterwards uh, I would like to just briefly explain how you can easily make your own bootloader based on these functions so let's get started I'm going to debug this So, I'm going to just step over this. In this step, I just cleared uh, write data variable, so it's wiped clean. I'm going to copy the hello world, so it's there. And now I'm going to save this uh, string into the flash memory. It's done. And now I've cleared read data, so these are wiped clean. And now I'm going to read the flash memory into this read data variable. So the string is there. So I just wrote this one and into the flash and read this one from the flash. So it's fine. And now I'm going to try to save this float variable. So it's a numeric value. And as you can see, uh, this is uh, so 235.756 in floats. But basically in binary it's somewhere around that value. It's 0.755997. So remember this value. I'm going to step again. I just saved address of this uh, float value uh, into the pointer. And then I'm going to pass uh, the pointer uh, to this function. So I'm just stepping over. Now it's saved. Now I just cleared this read number value to zero. So it's a nice zero as you can see. And now I'm going to save it uh, using this pointer. And again, I just passed address of this read number point uh, of this read number variable into pointer to read. And now I'm going to read it. So it is, as I mentioned, 235.755997. So as you can see, it worked. Now I'm going to stop this program because it ended up in infinite loop. But I would like to prove you that this worked. Uh, but float number is uh, pretty difficult to read by a human eye. So I'm going to comment this and I would like to just save this string into the flash memory and then read it back again. So now I'm going to flash it once more. So as I mentioned, I just I'm just going to 
save this hello world into the flash and now we are going to operate it and we ended up now in this infinite loop so i'm going to stop this program and we were saving uh, into the uh, address origin of flash memory is basically 8 million in hexadecimal but you also store there your application so for this reason i just uh, place there uh, 5000 in hexadecimal as offset so we are going to save it uh, also into the flash but somewhere you don't have your uh, application for sure so this app is uh, pretty small uh, and for sure we don't have at this address uh, any of our application so this should be wiped clean so we are going to check it uh, i just uh, typed here no, the address slightly above uh, this value just to prove you that uh, above that and below that is uh, nothing more only our saved string so as you can see it is wiped clean here we have hello world and down there is also the memory wiped, wiped clean so this basically works i'm going to disconnect this and so what if you want to do this on your own on a different stm on different kit whatsoever you need to uh, find out what's your flash origin and then you need to know what's your size uh, of your application so it usually uh, shows when you build your project uh, as you can see the address is 8 million in hexadecimal and uh, page size is basically uh, the individual sections of uh, flash memory but you need to find it out uh, in datasheet for example uh, in this case i found that page is equal to two, two kilobytes and it was in flash memory section of this of the data sheet but i highly recommend you to read uh, a reference manual or a reference data sheet uh, of your stm32 it might differ the page uh, is from the model to model so you need to find it out and now i would like to explain you uh, how i made these functions so let's start from this uh, main okay let's start explaining how save to flash function works so this function requires uh, 8 bit pointer and this way you can save there even uh, bigger values like with 16 bits uh, pointer 32 bit pointer and so on uh, in this case uh, i'm i try to save a uh, hello world which is array of uh, characters and when you have array it's basically itself a pointer so i am passing it as 8 bits pointer and then because of uh, this uh, function which writes uh, 32 uh, bits i need to create also an array uh, which is uh, 32 bits in size and uh, i need to allocate uh, the image memory as i need so this first part uh, just recalculates how many 8-bit values uh, are there for each 32-bit value because uh, you can imagine that 32-bit uh, value is made out of 
for 8 bit values. So this is what it does. And as you can see, this is Boolean condition. And I have module operator in here. And this uh, condition basically checks if there's exactly uh, four times the size of the 32 bit value or slightly more. And condition like this, I also repeat in here and in here. So it's basically the same. So I am getting the beta length. And as I was explaining, uh, I need to know how many pages I need to erase, which uh, is defined in here, the page size. And I'm, I found it out in this data sheet. So let's get back. So well, once you know uh, how much you want to save and how much you want to erase, then you can unlock the flash memory, uh, unlock optional bytes, and then uh, you can initialize uh, the structure to uh, erase the memory and this function erases the memory and in here uh, I am basically writing uh, the data to the flash so this is the simple for cycle and I am trying to save uh, the whole data length so this is basically it. I'm incrementing index one by one. And in here I am just uh, increasing the pointer by four. And then uh, when I'm done, I just lock back the optional bytes and then I lock back the memory, the flash memory. Oh, and read data has the same uh, size of the pointer, but is uh, much easier than this previous function. And uh, what I'm doing, uh, I try to read the data uh, by passing their uh, address of the pointer of uh, the flash where I saved the data. And then I'm increasing uh, the pointer by 4 because in this case I'm reading uh, 32 bits at once. And this, this data, which I'm passing uh, as a pointer in here, uh, are basically uh, 8 bits. So I need uh, for each 32 bit uh, address uh, of for each 32-bit value that I read, I need to separate it into four individual 8-bit values. So here are first 8 bits, another 8 bits, another 8 bits, and the last 8 bits. That's why I need to increase uh, the pointer size by 4, because I'm reading it like this. And uh, as I showed you, uh, where you, when you have uh, wiped out uh, flash memory, you have uh, the, this value, which are basically FFFF uh, in hexadecimal. So this way you can read uh, from the flash just by using a pointer. C language is all about the pointer. So that's basically it. and. When you want to create uh, your own bootloader, it uh, mostly uses uh, this like uh, saving flash function when you want to, uh, for example, update your app. So one application is, uh, for example, this project as a bootloader, which can erase uh, the memory, save uh, the new binary file and uh, you would basically pass uh, pointer data of your binary file which you want to flash. 
which uh, is going to be your uh, another application or your firm firmware and after you uh, well you, you can basically read uh, for example SD card or EEPROM or another uh, memory from which you read the new firmware it's up to you it can be also from the UART and when you are done flashing the memory then uh, you can use uh, this jump uh, function uh, which I am sharing uh, in this uh, github readme and uh, you need to jump uh, where you have been saving the f uh, new firmware to uh, exactly the same address of in this tutorial I'm using this uh, offset 5000 in hexadecimal so I'm jumping there and uh, just to make things clear you need to be careful to deinitialize uh, your MCU to default state uh, for example when you are using GPIO pins you need to deinitialize those peripherals when you are using uh, timers you need to stop the timer and deinitialize timer and also you need to uh, set uh, the RCC and the clock to your default value and then you are able to jump to your uh, new application and that's how bootloader jumps directly to the app so this is basically how you can use this project which is available on github to save and uh, read the data to STM32's internal flash and uh, potentially you can potentially you can you know, create your own bootloader so that's basically it for this tutorial thank you bye